After jail time in Yemen, he now works here as a business consultant. But he's still proud of the leg wound the Al-Qaeda leader often bandaged up for him. And though he's retired from jihad, his sympathy for the latest generation is hard to disguise. Do you have any understanding as to why this Nigerian would allegedly attempt to blow him, himself and other people up uh, on a plane heading towards Detroit? I wish the question wasn't so naive. Britain and America are in Iraq and in Afghanistan. They intervene in the affairs of Islamic nations. There are a million people out there, like the Nigerian.